What's up guys, Steve Carswell here with Extreme Gardens. Uh, we got another video for you today. It's a beautiful morning, birds humming, bees chirping, and oh yeah, it's install day. Uh, if you notice, we haven't really made a video lately. Um, it's because uh, my brother Tyler, the other guy in these videos, he just had twins. Uh, so obviously it's been a little crazy. We've been a little occupied. Um, maybe he'll show you a picture of them. Let's see. There those little buggers are. Uh, are they boys? Are they girls? I don't know, but they sure poop a lot. You know what I mean? So, you know, we've all been crazy. Um, we actually did the first half of this installation video. Um, the reason I didn't get to film it is because while Tyler was moving around all his kids, he was moving to a location, he lost the batteries. And I told him, I was like, yo, kids, no kids. It doesn't matter. You can't lose the batteries. Anyway, so here we are. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of what we've done so far, and then we're going to get into the video, uh, give you some time lapses, and uh, show you everything we're going to do. All right, so as you see, we have uh, took out this Exora hedge that was here, and we put the Radimachera in. You see the beautiful flowers. It's nice and full. We ran it up all the way to the house. And let's take a walk back here and take a look at what we did. Obviously, that looks really pretty. We did the uh, peace lilies. Come on, bring it on in. We did the uh, peace lilies, sweet pablos in the backdrop. And we did the aglaonemas in the front here. Gives it the white on white on that red brick wall. Really a great look. Uh, the customers loves it, excited about it. And uh, that's pretty much all we did on the first phase. So we're gonna get to the rest of this video and uh, check it out. All right, guys, a little update. Uh, we laid everything out. Uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, we're gonna get the planted. Oh yeah. All right guys, up here in the front driveway, we did a lower hedge of Texas sage. Obviously see it's got that nice color contrast from the green to this more of a light green, almost white color. Throws a nice little pink flower, very soft textured, very nice look. We wrap the ficus hedge around little shady here wish you could see it better but uh you know life's not perfect what are you gonna do so that's what we did in the front very nice look very nice look we're gonna add grass all in here and come back and fill that in we'll have the grass come right up to the edge very pretty very pretty let's go take a look at the back shall we all right guys we just finished up in the back here come on in take a look get a quick overview of everything and then i'll kind of tell you what we did so first, we did the uh, Sweet Pablo Peace Lilies in the back. In front, we did the Aglaonema Silver Bays. And then for your final tier, we did the Anthurium's White. Uh, she really likes the white, so we went with all white here. Up against the red wall, really nice. Turn it over to this side. We finished the Aglaonemas and Sweet Pablos around the bend. We did the uh, Tibichina tree. I know it doesn't have uh, a lot of pink on it right now, but it's a nice healthy tree. It's gonna throw a nice pink, pink purplish flower and uh, add some color right here. She's got the gardenia. It's uh, like a double peach orange. And then behind it, she's got her rose bush. She really likes it a lot. This section kind of divides with the canna lilies. These are the orange and yellow canna lilies. 
down this wall. We did the same look over there. Peace lilies in the back with the aglaonemas running the entire side. Obviously, these are pretty shade tolerant trees. Right now, it looks like sun, but this is about the only hour of the day that this area gets sun, and that's about it. It's, it's pretty much full shade all day. Um, and then let's look at the one other piece we did here down. Here we did the radimacheras in the front. Obviously, I throw that big white flower, pretty uh, little sweet smell to them. We did it all the way along the wall. Then we did the peace lily and aglaonema stretch all the way down. Looks pretty sick. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, let's get on to the next part. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the install today. Uh, I took you through everything. Customers very excited. They love it. I love it. Pretty spectacular stuff. Um, not too expensive. Um, I mean, if you go to your Home Depots and buy them, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. But if you go to a tropical nursery type place, they should have these things readily available. Nothing crazy. You can get a section done, really make it pop for not too much money. Um, but uh, that's about it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like our videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you don't like our videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe and uh, subscribe. That's a tough, tough word to say. Anyway, notifications, likes, subscribe, bing it, bing it, bing it, skeetily, deedily, bing, bang, boom, baby. All right. Talk to you all later.